Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel and today we're taking a look at the Henry Big Boy Steel in 44 Magnum. Sidegate version, so there's a lot of stuff going on there. And this is just the box. Okay, sorry, this is just the box. I forgot. Uh, this is some of the stuff that the box comes with. I'm just kind of surprised that the the boxes that all the Henry rifles come in are kind of flimsy. This is interesting, interesting inspection man, uh, information. So my my gun is not very old. Here's the manual. Here's a, like a tag that would've been on the gun if it was sitting in the counter. Uh, honestly, the the boxes that these Henrys come in are pretty flimsy. Just wanted to show that for a second. So if you were to get any kind of Henry rifle, you probably want to upgrade that. Something like this. Henry soft case. Henry sells these themselves. Actually, I kind of like them. It's a nice soft case to put everything in. Pretty simple. Now, let's open this up. Ah, there we go. There's the gun. There's the gun. Now, I've said before, I have a little trouble doing rifles on tabletop. However, we do the best we can. Uh, first, we're going to check that it's not loaded. So, that's good. This is, of course, a repeating lever action gun. Now, where is the model information? Ah, let me turn around. This is model. H012G. Now H012, that's Henry, you know, H is Henry. 012, that's not their name for the uh, 44 Magnum version. And the G stands for gate or side gate. This is, focus, focus, literally focus, chambered for 44 Remington Magnum or 44 Special. Will hold 10 rounds in the tubular magazine. And has a 20 inch barrel. So let's go through some of the features and I can go back to front. We have walnut, uh, I believe, walnut wood furniture, which is pretty attractive. The the lights that I'm using give it a more of a glossy look than it does in pitch in person, but um, it looks good. We have a swivel stud here, nice rubber butt pad here. Switch flip it around. Nice checkering. A more kind of low profile traditional lever. There is no like manual safety, there's no half cock position. I looked in the manual and according to Henry that as long as you are not pulling the trigger, um, there's really no way for the gun to fire. So you would leave the, the hammer at rest like this and you cannot physically hit that to make it go off. Some kind of transfer bar safety. Interesting. This is drilled. I guess they call it drilled and tapped for a scope. Left side's pretty bare for the screws. Right side has the loading gate. Now I previously had a Henry Henry carbine in 357 Magnum. And I kind of liked it, except that it was kind of a pain in the butt because you had to use this tube here. And then after a while that kind of got up in that cut that got kind of annoying and I'm glad Henry finally came out with Sidegate versions. He says this is only like a year that this has been available. Um, Sidegate lever action guns have been around since 1866. Like the second lever action gun ever had a Sidegate. So for Henry to be so slow to come to the game uh, surprised me. Now you can see there's been a little bit of wear on here from physically putting the cartridges in and having it rubbing against this. I don't know if that's brass coming off the cartridges or if that is the finish wearing off. I'm not quite sure which way that goes. These sights, uh, I don't like them. This is like a semi buckhorn sight that's supposed to be fully adjustable. However, you have this tiny little, little notch right there. And that's where you're supposed to put your front sight in. I don't know what these wings are for other than to protect the rear sight, but I just do not like the sight picture at all. The front side looks fine. I mean, it's a nice big, they have, they have a little bit of kind of brass or brass colored 
front side to give a little contrast, but I just I don't like the side picture at all. Nice good wood furniture, nice checkering, front swivel. Now, Henry kept this, despite having the side gate. Henry kept this, and I'm sure they would say that, well, you know, that way you can load it either way. You can go in this way. You can go like that. No one's going to do this. If you have the side gate, no one's going to do this anymore. No one's going to put cartridges in and then put this in. It's just way too annoying. No one wants to do this. Henry kept this because that's what they were tooled up for. So they left this here. That's why they did it. The barrel is pretty rounded and kind of unadorned. Now I don't want to be too hard on this gun. I don't want like you know I don't want to say that I hate the gun. Actually I do like it. I'm just gonna kind of pan side as I'm talking a little bit. I do like it. The action's pretty smooth. Even though it's not coming off that way when I do it awkwardly like this. I think the action's pretty smooth. I think the trigger pull is good. Don't like the sights. And like I said, you can see this is a, this would appear this trigger is a cast part, you know, mimmed, which is fine. All right. The finish seems pretty good. The fitment seems pretty good. All seems decent. And it is a very pleasant gun to shoot. 44 Magnum, 44 Remington Magnum is a very potent revolver cartridge. However, when you put in a rifle, it tames it very well. And this is a, if nothing else, I will give Henry, this is a pleasure to shoot. An absolute pleasure to shoot. The only thing I say is I, I don't like the sights. Um, and I think most people who get a gun like this are going to end up putting some kind of scope on top. And I think that's, if I were to keep this for a long period of time, um, I'm going back and forth whether or not I want to keep it or not, but... Um, if I were to keep this, I would probably end up doing something like a, a nice peep sight. I think Skinner, I think that's the company Skinner makes peep sights you can put like right here. Or a scope. Either one. Otherwise, I don't, I don't like these sights. I don't like them on the Henrys. I don't like them on the Marlins. I just, I want a peep sight. I think this is here to be more traditional. However, I don't, I don't think this is good. I think the way you're supposed to adjust this is like unscrewing this and tapping it. And I don't, I don't like it. So what is a gun like this good for? And what is its purpose? And it's basically a uh, deer hunting rifle. 100 to 200 yard, or you know, 200 yard and less, deer hunting rifle. I believe that's its intended purpose. That's what the website basically says, target shooting or hunting. And it's a deer gun. And I said with a nice scope on it, I think it would excel in that role. I don't really have targets. I want to. I try to do targets more often when I can. Um, I don't have any because I was having such a hard time at an indoor range with the reduced lighting using these sights that I just didn't bother. It was 25 yards anyway. However, it is assuming that the, the accuracy is there, and I, I really can't speak to it very well. The fit finish looks good. The durability, you know, the reliability seems good. It's it cycles well. It's a pleasure to shoot. Um, it's worked for me so far. What is this right here? What is that wearing? Is that... Is that like where? Hmm. Alright, all right. It is what it is. I think this is a plain Jane, very simple, very rugged, very functional deer hunting rifle. So in that aspect, it looks like it would do well. I wish it had more targets. I wish I could really test the accuracy a little bit. I can't. I, I don't have a hundred yard range to really test like I like I want to. Otherwise, it seems like a good gun. Actually, I do like the gun. I think it's a pleasure to shoot. I think it needs better sights. I'm going to put this back here. Why not? I think it needs better sights. Uh, and I don't really have much more to say about it because I feel like I'm kind of just showing it off a little bit without really being able to test its 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 potential. But I have it, so I thought I'd show it. Here we go. This is Steven from the Even Steven channel. I don't even know it's a review. I guess it's more like a, I don't know, show and tell of the <laughs> Henry Big Boy Steel in 44 Magnum. 
looks good from what I can tell. And that's it. That's it for my video. Thank you and goodbye.